before testing the servos, first we need to connect the battery holder and the servo control board. Loosen the screws on the servo control board. Plug the wires in. The red wire should go to the anode and the black to cathode. And then tighten the screws again. So now the battery holder and the servo control board are connected. Now take the servo out. A servo is a set of automatic control system. Its output shaft can be rotated to a certain angle by signals. So with a servo, you can easily rotate an object in a certain angle. In this kit, 12 servos are used to drive the joints of the robot. Here, find the rocker arm packaged with the servo and mount it onto the servo. So the servo is done. Connect the servo to the servo control board. Make sure the power source is connected in the right way and that the power is kept off. Plug the servo to the pins marked with 1 on the Sunfounder servo control board. The name of the pins and the color of the wires are marked on two sides of all the pins. Pay attention not to get them wrong. So the brown wire is to GND, red to VCC, and orange to signal. Mount two 18650 batteries. Pay attention not to mount the battery inversely. The cathode and anode marks are made inside the battery holder. Check whether they are wired correctly. If everything looks good, switch it on. Then the blue LED on the nano board will light up. Keep the power on. Then connect the Sunfounder servo control board to your PC with a USB cable. Then on your desktop, open IDE of the Arduino. Select File, Open. Then on the pop-up window, find the CD on the desktop. Go through code, one dot servo, and servo. Then find servo.ino file. Click it open. Then select a board. Here we select Arduino Nano with at Maker328. Then go to Tools Serial Port. Your serial port window may be different from mine. Then click the tick button. Wait for a moment until you see Done Compiling. Then click the right arrow button and wait for a moment. Then you can see Done Uploading. Then it means the sketch is uploaded successfully. And now you can see the rocker arms sway continuously. So the servo test is done. Remove the USB cable, switch off the power and remove the servo cable.